Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Charlie Fico from Illini Center. I hope that everyone is staying safe and I hope your families and yourself are very healthy during these unprecedented times. And uh, just remember that this too shall pass and we'll get back to normal. I'm coming to you from our coming office. As you know from visiting our website, we have two offices open at the time and we'll be get back to normal at some point, um, but we want you to know that we're here for you. We thought it would be a good idea today to go over some questions, some frequently asked questions about cataract surgery post-op recovery. Um, we do a lot of cataract surgery here. I see a lot of post-ops and a lot of my patients have a lot of questions. And so I wanted to just kind of go over a lot of those questions that I hear every day. And please feel free if you have any questions or if you feel like maybe you just want to talk about something that you're experiencing. Don't hesitate to call us, uh, email us, we're always available. Uh, we'll get back to you uh, very, very quickly and we can definitely answer questions. We are also here for you for urgencies and emergencies at this point, uh, especially in the post-op recovery period. So post-operatively during cataract surgery, most importantly, every cataract surgery is different. So every patient will experience a different outcome in cataract surgery. So when you experience cataract surgery, your experience may be completely non-problematic. You may have a complete perfect recovery and a friend down the street may have some problems that they experienced during surgery. And so it's something that I don't want everyone to um, think that everybody's going to have the exact same uh, experience. Everybody's eyes are different, everybody's outcome is different, and everybody's brains adapt to the visual change that you experience during cataract surgery differently. And so first and foremost, on the first day of surgery, when you go home from surgery, your eye will feel a little scratchy. It's going to feel a little irritated, it's going to feel dry, you're going to feel some irritation when you blink. That's completely normal. Your eye is open uh, an extended period of time during surgery, and so it dries out a little bit, and there's some irritation that's involved with that. That's completely normal. For most patients on the first day post-operatively, they come in and they're feeling much, much better. Um, they feel much more comfortable. They may still feel a little foreign body sensation, which is completely normal. The incision that you experience during cataract surgery is either on this side of the right eye or this side of the left eye. And so depending on which eye you've had done, you may feel a little sensation like there's something there every time you blink on that side. That's the incision. There's a little bit of swelling around that area and that incision will heal with time. It usually takes a couple weeks um, for your uh, incision to get to a point where you just don't feel it much anymore. So that's one of the first things that patients will tell me is, you know, I kind of feel something there on that side. The second most common question I get is, you know, I see this weird shadow in the periphery. And again, it's going to be temporally. So if it's your right eye, it's going to be over here. And if it's your left eye, it's going to be over here. That again is completely normal. That is your brain adapting to the new visual system that you've just been, um, that you've just obtained during surgery. And so your brain adapting to that is going to see some visual changes and those are completely normal, those shadows. Now, the other thing that patients will say is, I don't really see a shadow, I see kind of a little flicker of light off to that side. And it's again, either gonna be temporally on this side or it's gonna be temporally on this side, depending on which eye you have. Now, that's completely normal as well. It's a very, very similar process to your brain adapting to the new intraocular lens that was put in, and also just the new visual system that you have. Your brain has been used to seeing through a cataract for a decent amount of time and now all of a sudden there's a new implant in there and it's a very clear visual system and so now your brain is adapting to that. Um, secondly, um, patients will come back on that first day with those symptoms and those questions and you know taking the medications and going home and just taking it easy. The recovery period during that first week is very important in terms of restrictions so you don't want to get the eye wet, you do make sure you want to make sure you wear your patch when you sleep. Uh, or if you take a nap, you don't want to bend over excessively, uh, lift anything over 20 pounds. You just want to really take it easy for those first couple of weeks. Um, during that interim period after the first eye is done in the 
a couple of weeks afterwards, a lot of times patients will have their second eye done. And so your restrictions really are for about four weeks because you'll be on restriction for two weeks on the first eye and then two more weeks for the second eye. And so that month during that surgery for both eyes is gonna be a restrictive time for you. Just prepare for that and make sure that you have help around the house and make sure that you know, you're not needing to do certain things in the yard or, or lift heavy objects or anything like that. This is, timing is everything when it comes to cataract surgery. Um, the first week postoperatively, uh, your visual acuity will actually be much better. Um, some people even come back the first day and the visual acuity is amazing. Uh, but sometimes it takes a week for a little bit of swelling to go down in the cornea, which is the front surface of the eye, the window of the eye. And as that week goes on, your visual acuity will get much better during that time. At that first week, uh, patients will come back and say, wow, this is amazing. Everything's looking so much better. And we'll do some checks during that time. At this point, most patients will say, you know, I'm still seeing a little bit of that shadow or a little bit of those flickers of light off to the side. Not a big deal. Um, they're getting better. It's starting, you're starting to adapt during that time. So again, we just watch those things. And then patients come back at the one month period. So it's one day, one week, and one month. And at that one month post-op period, that is the final post-op visit. And at that point, we'll check for the need for any glasses if you do not have the specialty lenses where you can read with those lenses. We'll do a check for glasses for you at that time, or we'll send you back to your referring doctor and they can check for glasses at that point as well. And sometimes even at that one week period. Um, at this stage, most patients will not have a lot of questions in terms of those problems, uh, but they will still sometimes see a little bit of those shadows even starting to completely go away. And, Everybody's different. Some pay, sometimes patients will come back after a week and say the shadow's gone, I don't see it anymore. Sometimes it's a month, sometimes it's even a little bit longer than that. Everybody's different, every brain is different, so you're going to adapt differently. Everybody is going to adapt differently. Don't worry about all of that. Now, having said that, patients sometimes will notice these little flickers of light off to the side, which are normal, but also we tell patients if you see flashes of light, or an increase in floaters in your vision um, excessively, then we wanna hear from you and we wanna take a look at that right away. We wanna make sure that there's no retinal problems um, secondary to any complications. And so if you're not sure if those flickers are the actual flashes of light or if they're the flickers, just call us and we can talk through it over the phone and if one of our doctors or myself thinks that possibly this is something we need to take a look at, we'll get you into the office as soon as possible. Um, there's always doctors here. Uh, we have four doctors at each of our locations, uh, each of our two locations during this time, uh, during the COVID break. Um, but obviously there's gonna be somebody available for you at any point. Um, the difference between those flickers of light and the flashes of light are very hard to sometimes gauge, but a flash of light that we're worried about in terms of retinal issues is gonna look very much like lightning. So if you're in the home and you move your eye and you see like a lightning flash off to the side, that's an indication there could be a problem in the back of the eye in the retina. That's not really a flicker or almost a, a strobe light of flickering the lights that you'll see, which is normal. And then the floaters. The floaters are another thing that's very hard to gauge. And so again, I want you to understand that if you have any questions about this, it's better for you to come in and we'll take a look at it uh, then and be safe than sorry. Uh, so if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to call us. And the floaters sometimes are normal because when you have cataracts that are growing, you'll have floaters in your eye, but you don't really notice them very much because your vision isn't as good because the cataract's there. Once we take the cataract out and that implant goes in your eye, your visual acuity is much better. There's so much more light getting into the eye. Those floaters may become all of a sudden much more prominent, but they've been there for a, very, a long period of time. So any questions about that whatsoever, you let us know. Express that to your doctor on the one day post-op or the one week post-op. If you're concerned about that, we can always just dilate you real quick and take a look back there. But a lot of times those things are completely normal as well. Pain is not an issue in cataract surgery, especially these days. Um, there's just nobody that complains of pain with cataract surgery unless there's a complication. So if you have any pain that you're concerned about, whether or not it's an extreme foreign body sensation, a scratching sensation, a burning sensation, or even just a painful sensation, 
that could be a whole host of different things that we need to be very concerned about. And so any time you're in the post-op recovery period, and it doesn't matter what day it is, one day to one month to two months, make sure you call us and let us know whether or not you're having any pain or discomfort. It may be something completely normal and benign, and we'll get you in and take a look and we'll be safe checking it and making sure that it's okay. But it's better for us to see you and, and just check it out and be sure that everything's okay. Um, visual recovery is, is usually very quick. Um, and so most patients with the, what they call monofocal lenses will have really good distance vision, but then we'll need reading glasses afterwards at that one month post-op period. Um, you can also get those during the recovery period, so you can read during that one month. Um, there are also lenses that we can use to correct for astigmatism. Now, patients with these lenses typically don't need glasses for the distance vision. We can correct that astigmatism pretty well, but then a lot of those patients will need glasses for doing close reading as well. And then there's the specialty lenses called extended depth of focus lenses. Uh, some uh, lenses are also called multifocal lenses. These are lenses that also give you very good distant vision and up close vision, as well as intermediate vision. The extended depth of focus lenses will give you amazing visual clarity in the distance and at the intermediate. But everybody who has these lenses typically still needs a little bit of help with real, real small print. It's not uncommon at all, but 99% of the time, you're not gonna need glasses with these lenses. Now, the difference between these lenses and the others is with these lenses, sometimes you'll get some halos around lights. These are very, very normal, and these are something that we go over with patients initially, and they, these, is, these symptoms, these halos around lights, it's not glare, and it's not unclear. It's very, very clear. It's very sharp and bright, but it's just a halo. It's almost like the ring around the moon when it's going to storm. You'll always see that around a light. You'll get used to it. It's completely normal, but it's something that visually we have to put up with in order to get the visual recovery that we need for the distance, the intermediate, and the up close with these specialty lenses. So this is just a visual symptom that sometimes patients will say, well, I'm still seeing halos. It's completely normal. It's not glare that you had with your cataracts or halos that you had with your cataracts that are more glare issues. It's more just kind of a ring around lights, um, just like a halo. So it's nothing visual uh, that you can't put up with and it's something that is a good uh, trade-off when we get these uh, good lenses and help us see without glasses. Um, I hope this has answered a lot of your questions. Again, I wanna emphasize that we are always available for you um, by phone, by email, just call us. Uh, there's always somebody available if you have questions, if you have emergencies, you can come in, or if you even have questions during your post-op period, please call us, we can talk through it over the phone or we can get you in if we need to, if we think that it's necessary. Um, I hope this has helped. Uh, please feel free to reach out and hopefully we'll see you soon when things get back to normal. Thanks for tuning in.